In this video, we're going to be finding out what makes a good running shoe for me. What is up, everybody, and welcome to our little mini series of what makes a good running shoe. Now, in this little mini series, we're going to be looking at what makes a good running shoe for me, and we're going to be breaking it down into daily trainer, tempo shoe, uh, long run shoe, 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon shoe, all that uh, sort of uh, different classes of shoe. We're going to be breaking them down and talking about what makes a good running shoe in those sectors for me. So basically, what am I looking for? What am I looking for on the midsole? What am I looking for on the upper? What am I looking for on the outsole? That kind of thing. Okay, so you're up to speed. You know what we're doing. I need your interaction on this. So let me know in the comments, uh, whatever your favorite, whatever it is we're discussing in this video is. Uh, let me know in the comments, but let's get stuck in to the video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what makes the perfect tempo shoe for me. So I really like a tempo run. It's one of the sort of staple diet for me in, within my marathon training blocks that I use. So the shoe is really important because it really does um, have to do a specific job for me in the week when it comes to my training. Now a good example of a shoe that I'm using uh, for my sort of tempo work is these, the Deviate Nitro Elite 2. Um, let's talk about, yeah, let's talk about the little bits and bobs. Let's start with the upper. So the upper is really important. It's got to be breathable. It doesn't have to be like race day breathable, but it's got to be breathable because the chances are I'm going to be putting a shift in and I want something that's not going to overheat me. Uh, and the fit of the shoe needs to feel really nice. Uh, it needs to feel not over the top in terms of foam. It's got to have a little bit of lockdown in terms of the feel. But this is a perfect example of this shoe because it's got a nice bit of foam around now, uh, but it's got like a racier tongue so it's set up a little bit more sort of racing feel but with a smidge of comfort what's really nice in a tempo shoe for me is the foam uh, this nitro foam in this puma shoe is amazing it's really really quick it's not the most stable thing in the world but it just has that feeling of speed which you can carry over those sort of longer miles also with a tempo shoe i'm looking for a really good outsole and this shoe has puma grip on it so it's like the best uh, because if i'm running down the tower um, the canal tow pass or if i'm in london or whatever i'm doing i want something that's going to hold onto the ground and this is a really good example with the puma grip uh, of an outsole that just works for me i want something that's relatively lightweight i think this shoe is about eight ounces from memory i might be wrong but i want something that's about eight ounces. Uh, I don't necessarily want anything underneath that. It doesn't have to be super, super light, but I don't really want anything over nine ounces. In terms of drop, eight mil works for me on a tempo shoe. I'm not really fussed either way. This has got a carbon plate in it, but it's not the be all and end all for me. Uh, TPU plate works for me, uh, but it, uh, ideally I'm looking for some form of plate in it, whether it's front loaded or whether it's full length, whatever. I'm looking for a little bit of assistance on that tempo shoe, but it's not. it doesn't have to be full length or anything like that. So yeah, I think the Elite 2 is a good example of, of a, a tempo shoe for me. We do have a, a nice breathable upper that fits well. We've got a nice bit of padding around the heel, but not over the top. We've got a sort of racing feel to the shoe. We've got a very explosive midsole. We've got a fantastic outsole with the carbon plate to help me. It's obviously light, feels awesome, and it really does feel great on those tempo runs. All right, so that's the sort of ideal tempo shoe for me. Now let me know in the comments what makes a good tempo shoe for you. Is there a, is there a perfect tempo shoe out there that you've found? Uh, other good examples for me are like the Razor 4 from Skechers is a really good tempo shoe. The Rebel 3 was a good tempo shoe as well. So they're the sort of um, shoes that sort of come to mind when I'm looking at tempo shoes. But let me know in the comments what's a good tempo shoe for you and I'll catch you later. 